I go, oh, wow, that sounds good. <laughs> I thought you'd just go there and pay and get it. I didn't know Jesus was real. Anyway, I went to that uh, place one, that day, and, you know, in the middle of so many people, when it was my time to pray for me, he asked me something that I never expected him to ask. He said, okay, okay, calm down. I was crying. I couldn't hold myself <laughs> up any longer. I was falling apart, like my husband was holding me up. And I said, he said, he asked me, he said, and you believe Jesus can heal you? Ooh. In an in a eighth of a second, so many things came to my mind. I, I saw like a movie. And I said, if, if he asked me, do you believe Jesus can heal you? And I said, I thought, oh my goodness, if he is real, if he's the creator of the world, the oceans, the heavens, the beauty of the world, my body, he has no problem of healing, healing me, fixing something. And I said, if he is real, yeah. I believe. And he put his hand on my shoulder. And I just, I felt that <laughs> I lost, like, I, it was such a beautiful peace that came over me. And then he went on praying for other people. And then he came and asked me, how are you feeling? I go, oh, same way, I think. So then I start looking for the pain. The pain was gone. I felt uh, alive. I felt rejuvenated. I felt so good. I go, I'm alive. He is real. You were healed of MS. I was healed instantly. How old were you, Maria? I was uh, 27, 28. Wow, young mom. Young mom. Wow. And she was worried for us, her kids. So she'd experienced Jesus and she wanted us to experience it. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the beautiful connection now that comes next with 100 Huntley Street, how it way, way back in the day really was integral in getting us on our salvation you know, journey. Yeah. Anyway, that was a charismatic movement that, uh, that God used it and I kept going by. I felt like I was one of the, the 10 lepers. Mm -hmm. I would go back just to, to thank God for it. I knew Jesus was alive then, at that time, but I didn't know he was my savior. You knew him as healer. As healer. But not savior yet. I would go to hell healed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I found Jesus, mm. the real Jesus, the, the true conversion, the true salvation, that, that changed everything. Totally alive. And you were taking your family uh, to church. Your husband wasn't too pleased about that. Well, you have to go every initially. Sunday. Anyway. But before but, we got to church, you have to tell them how you called here and how yeah. we got anyway, to this journey, Mom. I was going to that place for, for about seven years. I read the Bible, I pray, but I didn't know Jesus as, it's not preached that Jesus is the Savior. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I didn't like so many things. Anyway, one day, all right, I start watching 100 Hunty Street. And I go, oh my goodness, I hear people saying that they are saved. Oh, mm -hmm. next day, Oh, I got saved, I got saved. I go, I don't know what that word means. Oh, wow. That sounds good, what they're saying, but I don't know what it is. So I called 100 Huntley Street. Very curious, very, like, I hear, I, I told her the story. This is I one prayed. of our prayer counselors. Yes, prayer, prayer, prayer counselors. Mm -hmm. So I said, I pray, I read the Bible, but I don't know what that word saves means. And the counselor, I think it's one of the best things that counselors like to do. <laughs> of course She it is. asked me, she said, okay, let me ask you this. If you were to die right now, where do you think you go? I go, I don't know. I hope <laughs> I would go to heaven. I hope, because I love Jesus. And then she went through the whole process of salvation, how we're no good, it's only God. I accepted Jesus, I was baptized in the Holy Spirit over the phone, and I was speaking tongues over the phone. <laughs> so she asked me for the address, and they sent me a new beginning uh, pamphlet. You did the Bible study that we were offering at that yes, time. Yes, I, I did, Wonderful. and then 
I wanted more. I go, where do I take my kids to know this? So I went in person to 100 Huntley Street downtown. And uh, I met this beautiful lady, one of your counselors, that will happen to be a Portuguese. Oh, how I was, wonderful. Yes, I start talking with her and she said, I know a church. Do you think you can take your son there? Do you think he will listen to you? He was 15 years old. I go, <laughs> whatever it is, whatever I ask him, he do it. He was good hiding, you know. He was very obe obedient you to me. You were obedient to mom. Very. Despite your wild antics, Joe. Always obey mom. Always, <laughs> always. And I said, oh, I have no problem. If I say, let's go to this place, he would go. She goes, you know what, if you take him, one, if he goes one time, he will ask you after that to bring him back to church, you know, Again. all the, every Sunday. And that was Queensway Youth Group? Yes. Yeah, Queensway right? Cathedral in Etobicoke. In Etobicoke. And Joe, I didn't realize you and your cousins really were the youth group. Ultimately, yeah, you in filled the it up. In the junior high, we, we made up uh, good a good percentage of, of, of the group. And you were not a, a happy candidate. You were out in the parking lot having a smoke while the kids were doing the program in the church. I don't, I'm sure mom didn't know that. She didn't know that, but uh, the youth pastor would come out very nicely, not yell at me, not get upset, but hey, why don't you put that out and come inside? I'm gonna, I'm gonna preach, you know, and I would go. And then, you know, got saved, and I met Karen there, you know, my wife, and we've been married now over, over 20 years. 20 years? teenage son and daughter. David Maines happened to come into the studio before we recorded this. Yes. And Joe said, thank you for my wife. <laughs> yeah. You could have said, thank you for my life. That's true, uh, absolutely. Because uh, thankfully, uh, through this connection, Maria, you with Huntley Street and, and the help that our prayer partners were able to give, uh, this became a connection for your whole family. They all came to know the Lord. And although dad was a little so. Unhappy about it all for a while, he too wonderfully came to faith. It's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful story, you know, uh, just of how amazing God is. Oh. You know, where it began, we, we've come full circle right back to Huntley again. And now, you know, I never dreamed I would have a weekly television program of all places here on, on CTS, you know, that I would be so honored to come back and, you know, more than once and do Truth To Go and, you know, and be interviewed and share my story. What would you like to say as we get ready mm -hmm. for two amazing weeks with you? What are you going to do? Well, we're going to be talking about uh, what I call God's Holy Days, and it's going to be the featured, you know, partner gift for, for the month of April, and it's a three and a half hour teaching DVD. High it, def cameras? Uh, well, it was featured in high def, but it's mm -hmm. just a standard definition video. There's professional re reenactment videos of first century weddings, of the Last Supper. On location. On location in Israel. So uh, as I'm teaching about, you know, the, the Holy Days, and I'm trying to move people from holidays and go to Holy Days. You know, we know Christmas, we know Easter, but we have no idea about God's holy days from the Bible. And it's going to be a real time of encouragement to get people to understand, you know, how these feasts clearly point to Jesus. And as we understand the Hebraic culture of the first century, Jesus' words, they become so alive and, and there's so much more meaning. And so I really hope to inspire people to fall even more in love with God's Word. Wow, I can't wait. And Maria, uh, you're not home alone. One of your three children, your daughter and her family are living with you. and on the receiving end of all that great cooking. Thank you for coming and telling yeah, us just this. Just one thing can I say. When, after I, when I was healed, I told my husband, now I'm gonna have another baby. I can hold, I'll be able to hold my baby. And did you? I did, one year, exactly one year later, I had a little and girl. And that's the one that's living with her now. Oh. So oh. she, she came I in said, handy, my little sister. <laughs> I said, God, I give her to you. And later did I know, that all my children will be following the Lord. Plan to be with us the next two weeks celebrating hope God's feasts revealed.